Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do quite a simple job on the uh, Range Rover Sport uh, and that is removing and cleaning out the washer jet from the driver's side. It's completely blocked and obviously uh, is a bit annoying when you want to clean your windscreen. As I say it's quite a simple job. The most difficult part is actually removing the jet. Uh, there's a spring clip on it which I'll show you. So without further ado let's get into it. So in order to gain access to the uh, washer jet and remove it is to uh, loosen off some of the Christmas tree fixings uh, for the undercover uh, to the bonnet. So in order to do this you can use a screwdriver but you run the risk of damaging these fixings uh, and creating yourself a problem uh, and it's more difficult. So I use one of these uh, tool trim removal tools and I recommend getting yourself a set of these. I will put a link in the description below uh, and I've found these um, a godsend to be honest. Uh, I've done the usual thing of using a screwdriver to remove fixings and you end up damaging stuff so I recommend these tools. So it's just a simple matter of unclipping them and as you can see they are reusable and as I say if you use uh, the old screwdriver method you can damage these very easily. Taking care of course not to drop them, I'll get that one in a minute. And this one as well. So here's a close-up of the underside where the uh, washer jet fits through and also this uh, one is heated. Um, I'm not sure whether they are on all Range Rover Sports or Range Rovers. Uh, you've got the, the heater connection here which simply unclips like that and you've also got the one-way valve here and you can either undo the water hose here or this side or there and I simply just pull it off here and you just undo the electrical connection just by lifting the tab there and pulling and it comes off quite simple so in order to remove the washer jet now you have to press in the spring clip here slightly and then move it forward and then it will come out so press in move it forward and press and out it comes so that's the washer jet out now all we need to do is clean clean the nozzles and here's the offending article uh, it's it, you can clean these things out uh, while they're still on the car but it's easier just to remove it and you can you can flush it through you can uh, clear the jets with a little piece of wire which I'm going to do here and what I do is use a piece of wire just to poke out the nozzles uh, because this one was quite clogged if your eyes are good you can get it in there give it a good poking and then flush it through with air or water connect a water supply up and just blow it out and uh, you know within a couple of minutes you can clear it uh, sometimes you might need to purchase another one as I say uh, if your electrical connection goes but that's not going to stop it working. Most of the time you don't need the heated uh, windscreen washer but I've had a couple of occasions on older cars where I've gone out on a cold icy day and you, you, you clear the jets and within 10 minutes of uh, driving long they're frozen up again. Um, not good especially if there's uh, a lot of grime about anyway this one's actually being cleared now so we'll go ahead and uh, put it back on the car so installation I say is the re so installation is just the reverse of the removal and we'll just thread the wires through actually it's facing the right direction you can't do it wrong to be honest 
and clip it back in. Connect up the hose. And plug in the connector. Clip it back into its hidey hole. And then we just got to replace the uh, cover. Now I have retrieved the one clip of I lost down there, but the other has gone walkabout. It's underneath the car somewhere, so I'll, fi I'll find that in a bit. So, and all we need to do is put the clips back on. And you don't need any special tool for doing this. Just line up the holes. So I've got one to replace up there, so uh, I'll find that. And there's little tabs here that click in, or not click in, just slot in to the engine, uh, to, uh, to the bonnet rather, uh, to keep it uh, all taut. So that's the end of the job. So the next step is to see if it works properly. Okay, well that wraps up the job for today. Only a simple job, but if you haven't done it before and you're trying to work out how to remove the uh, uh, washer jet, uh, a little bit of assistance doesn't go amiss. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. There will be more to come. Uh, videos have been a little bit short on the ground recently uh, due to uh, uh, getting a house ready for selling. So. Uh, there will be lots more to come in the near future. The next job will be replacing the oil. Uh, it's been just over 12 months since it was replaced. Okay, I've only done 1,000 miles, but best to keep up with the uh, service requirements. So that should be coming in about a week's time. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. There'll be lots more content on the channel to come. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching.